study that was uh, that Desmond completed uh, earlier this year, uh, which was a complete study of both uh, the north side and south side downtowns. There were a series of recommendations uh, that were contained in that report, uh, and the report was presented to the authorities board. The authorities board uh, accepted the report, and the authority and its board and the city now are, are working through many of those recommendations uh, and evaluating their appropriateness and the timing. And this happens to be one of uh, potentially many that uh, will come out of that study. And um, as part of the report, and as, uh, again, which has kind of been documented, documented uh, in, the, in the report as well as you know, this presentation, the recommendation is that, that the on-street meter rate should be increased. Um, that's the first step in kind of balancing um, the, the current rate structure uh, in the city of Bethlehem uh, in terms of its you know, transient or hourly parking. Uh, in, you know, in conjunction with that, uh, you know, this will not be done in a vacuum. Uh, we're going to look to also evaluate increasing the fines for parking violations because there has to be, uh, and again, the industry would, uh, would suggest that there's, there should be uh, an indicator in terms of what, what the on-street rates are versus what the, the fines for the violation of those rates. There needs to be um, sort of the, uh, you know, more of a, more of a deterrent. And then, uh, Really, the authority and the city should look to regular rate increases, and we're not sure what that frequency would be, but they should be uh, such based on uh, demand for the spaces, the use of the spaces, as well as uh, the costs, uh, the, you know, the ongoing costs and expenses for the authority to continue to operate as a first-class facility, as well as meet its debt service obligations. Um, so part of the analysis that we uh, we undertook to evaluate, you know, what market rate might be for on-street parking, uh, both uh, you know in the in the Lehigh Valley, in the Commonwealth, as well as other peer cities, to evaluate the cost of parking in, in, in some of those locations in comparison to the cost of parking in. Uh, in Bethlehem, and what we about, we studied, I think it was 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, excuse, 14 including Bethlehem, um, public municipalities, public parking systems to uh, look at what the rates were being charged uh, in light communities versus the rates in Bethlehem, and the conclusions that were reached, and again, it's just statistical data, which I think is, in, you know, which is important in, in the, as part of the discussion, is that Bethlehem's you know, current on-street rates, uh, again, which we're kind of focusing on tonight, are uh, what could be considered under market. So at a dollar an hour, um, it's under market based on uh, the comparisons to the other locations. So based on uh, all of the above, um, the conclusions that were reached, uh, you know, in conjunction with the authority, was uh, to recommend a meter rate increase from a dollar to a dollar fifty, or a 50, 50 cent increase over what currently exists, uh, and increase the, the the daily minimum from to fifteen dollars a day. It's currently ten. Um, we think you know the byproduct of of the increase. Um, really is not, should not be solely considered as revenue based. Um, certainly increased revenue uh, is an expectation uh, and has, has been part of the forecast, but it really should be a tool to encourage turnover, move, continue to move long-term parking uh, off street. With that, it should actually um, create more availability for on-street parking uh, because those folks that want to, you know, potentially park for, you know, two or three or four hours, um, depending on where you are and some of the streets do provide that opportunity. Uh, there's ample capacity as we speak off-street and 
at a, what may be considered at a discount, discounted rate, a dollar versus a dollar fifty. Therefore, um, the expectation would be there should be more on-street parking readily available. Um, we think the dollar fifty is really market rate in terms of uh, comparisons that were done in uh, like communities. Uh, it's consistent with the peer city, cities as well as uh, industry standards. And uh, again, the byproduct would be that uh, additional revenues would be generated by the user fees uh, to continue to allow the authority to operate, maintain, and cover its, its capital and debt service um, obligations. I, again, I think it's also important to note that should additional revenues be um, realized, that those revenues really get fed back into the system. They're not siphoned off, they're not taken out, they're not put into some hope, hope chest. It allows the authority to continue to operate. It allows the authority to uh, institute a much needed, if not critical, capital repair program. So all of these revenues will really be put back into the system, put back into the city of Bethlehem's <coughs> parking uh, infrastructure. So timelines, and um, uh, assuming this initiative does move forward, uh, the next step would be for the mayor to accept the recommendation. <laughs> if the mayor accepts the recommendation, then um, the parking authority as well as the DBA in the Southside Art District have made a commitment <clears throat> to market and promote and publicize the rate changes. So to, uh, again, market and promote not just the rate change, but really reasons why the rate change is being considered and implemented. Uh, the expectation as we speak is that the rate increase will go into effect January 1st of 2019. Um, and the authority is committed to uh, provide some program to lessen the impact, <coughs> if you will, uh, and allow users to become you know, familiar with uh, the new rate increases and give them opportunities to continue to, uh, you know, park and use the use the parking system at current rates. So mobile now meter rates will remain at a dollar. So if you're a mobile now subscriber and you use the mobile now electronic um, payment app, app uh, the on street rates will continue for a uh, dollar an hour until June thirtieth, roughly six months, and. Uh, again, as a, as, a, as a means to promote the use of the uh, off-street lots and garages, the authority will um, modify its transient rate schedule. So if you're an hourly parker using the authority's uh, lots or garages, uh, the dollar per hour rate will be valid for a 90 minute period. Uh, so you'll get roughly 50% of your parking would be you know, at no cost, <coughs> at the same cost as it is today. That uh, is briefly the, uh, the presentation that we uh, had prepared for this evening. And again, I think it, what we tried to do was uh, sort of outline, you know, the authority and the city's obligation, uh, some of the reasons to consider uh, the rate increase uh, the timing of the rate increase and some of the initiatives that uh, uh, will be in place at the time uh, a rate increase, uh, if, if, if accepted, would go into effect. So I think at this point, we'll open it up for comment. And what we'll do is we'll kind of start on the left side and kind of work our way through. If anybody on the left side has a has, wants to come up and speak, feel free to come up to the podium. Uh, if you just, you know, give your name and um, the, the mic is yours. No one on the left side. We'll go to the center. We'll start left and move my left and move to my right. That's okay. State. And I live at 2420 Henderson Place in Bethlehem. Um, 
First thing I'd like to point out is that for, since 2012, uh, the rate of inflation from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics comes to 10.8 percent. You're asking for almost five times that. Uh, number two, you mentioned the um, uh, the fact that the rates are equal between the uh, off street and street parking. Um, that's a self inflicted situation because the rates used to be seventy five cents, and the parking authority increased them to a dollar. Um, I find it hard to believe that um, the residents should be responsible for that. Um, on the on-street parking, meter rates are essentially a tax on city residents. They're streets, and they pay a tax to park on them. I think there's a real issue with that. <clears throat> the um, Part of the reason that you've given for the rate increase is the debt service. And I find it um, a little disingenuous uh, that parking garages built uh, in, in specific instances for development uh, that the residents are expected to carry that debt and pay for it. And then they have to pay to park in the garage, too. I've heard a number of ideas about better ways to market the garages, including free time to draw people in. Um, sometimes I wonder about the marketing initiatives of the parking authority. Um, I understand with the smart meters that you can do flexible rates, you could do zoned rates. Uh, why aren't we looking at some of that? Uh, definitely the fine should be increased. Um, I spend a lot of time down on Main Street uh, doing a newspaper.